before I start this video I just want to say thank you to all the new people that have subscribed to my channel my channel is actually growing a lot faster than it has been throughout the past couple months so I just want to say thank you to everybody for those of you who haven't subscribed yet please do if you guys want to I mean I'm not forcing you to do a lit but please do if you guys want to I'm gonna be doing a lot of park gameplays I do these videos at the end of 2k and yeah I do skit stuff like that so uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed please make sure to do that all right first off I just think I would go with the most obvious one and just say six man slots and when I say slots I mean if you have a seventh eighth maybe you should be able to add those people in too I don't know lag might be an issue but at least six man because six mans have always been a very valuable part of a basketball team look at Lou Will look at James Johnson this year on the heat let's look at Eric Gordon I mean those guys put in so much work for their team and I feel like you really need somebody off the bench now in Pro-Am the problem I have with it is you have to spam timeouts when you get tired let's say for example that I have a 6-2 sharpshooter at point guard and I'm just getting dominated why is it that I can't be able to put in somebody else who can guard that person or switch positions, something like that? That's other things, but I feel like having more people in that are actually human beings would be able to help those situations. I mean, obviously mismatches are a part of the game, but I feel as if, you know, it's kind of unrealistic to have to spam timeouts and have to buy all these Gatorade boosts in order for you to be able to get through a whole entire game without being super tired at the end and I know you know it's basketball for people to be tired but at the same time they have a bench they have people that they can sell out put in and I think that should be implemented into the game now upgrading AIs I feel like is something that might be a hit or miss type thing because obviously people are gonna say you know it could get very OP but I feel as if if you have a 55 overall not every one of us has five people and I know people say oh we'll get people I mean I have a YouTube channel and it's hard for me to find five people that always run when I run I run at the weirdest times I don't just you know I feel like as a youtuber it's harder for you to find people to run at your times because you're not really running at just normal times during the day so I feel like being able to upgrade your AIs the way you want them to be like I shouldn't just be forced to have a lockdown defender that's a 55 overall at first of all, I don't even know if he's a lockdown so I'm passing him for threes and he's missing that's kind of unfair I feel like we should know their archetype maybe maybe even be able to pick them and also be able to upgrade them but not with VC so you can't cheese maybe have some points throughout the games for if the AIs do good and then you can upgrade them kind of like how Madden does when with connected franchise uh, when you're playing that as the people do good they kind of earn points and you could add the points maybe like skill points like the old my career used to be so that way it's not cheesy but at the same time we know how our AIs play so we maybe you know can have a better understanding of how to win games with them number three is team boost now I have no idea how something like this would work but the only thing that I see in it is something like just like how they have sunset and the flyers and old town or I might have just said the same thing twice but just like how they have a certain boost just for being affiliated with them I feel like maybe each team should be able to set up what their boost is like if I wanted to be like the Spurs then I set up a defensive boost so nothing crazy kind of just exactly like how they have it in park just something exactly like that or if I wanted to be like Golden State then I can have them set it up for three-point shooting something like that once again nothing crazy so people can cheese so each team is different that's that's the way I feel like it should be because when playing Pro-Am it really feels like everybody runs the same exact offensive scheme same exact defensive scheme if you have three and they have five they just double every every single person I'm just gonna say this right now this is a huge stretch but I just thought it'd be something cool. I just thought of it and I was like, hey, why don't I just put it in the air? But it's a huge stretch. So please, don't kill me. Don't call me idiot. Don't go crazy on me. It's a stretch. But I feel like maybe they should add something like that. So that way, maybe, you know, people who are free agents actually have an incentive to join different teams. If you get more uh, VC offered to you, then you join. And at the same time, the person who owns the team maybe makes profits off of the fans who show up to 
maybe make ticket prices, something like that. I don't know. That's probably a little too far. Like I said, it's a stretch, but that's what I do. I just make very bold stretches, and hopefully 2K takes a little piece out of it, and we're all happy. All right, last one. They make it really hard for you to go through your defensive settings because there's li like you can't pause and you know set stuff up. Maybe they should make it so you can do that. I don't know. I feel as if they should make it a lot easier for you to switch matchups, all that stuff. You have to do it like mid game and all this stuff, and then it makes it so people are scoring on you. Blah blah blah. You can't do it on offense. It's just really hard to change everything. I don't even know if you can change defensive settings. I know you can change matchups. Not defensive settings. They should definitely go ahead and do that. And then I feel like that's pretty much it. But there's one honorable mention though that I have to say. And that is 2K. When I'm open. Let me make my good night times. I be on stock then. I don't do it for the ground. I do it for Compton. I'm willing to die for the shit, nigga. I take your fucking life for the shit, nigga. We ain't going back to broke. Family selling dope. That's why you many ass rap niggas better know.